Hey, what's going on everybody? This is the IT Ranger and today we'll be doing a little bit of CCNA, starting our first CCNA tutorial and we'll be doing um, binary addressing or how to come up with a binary address through uh, one network address. So, um, basically, let's go ahead and start off with a basic address. Let's do 192.168.1.1 dot zero slash uh, 30 slash 30 all right so as you see here we have our IP address 192.168.7.0 all right so what this is is this is a network address and what a network address is it basically tells you where you start at on your network and how far or where you start at where your addresses start so right here, the first and um, every decimal you see between these decimals are, is an octet. So the, this is our first octet right here, the first octet. This is the second octet. And this is the third octet. And this is the fourth octet. All right. So we see here 192 is our first octet. 168, second octet. 7 is our third octet. And 0 is our fourth octet. So now to now we need to know... We have a network administrator and he wants to know what our first sorry about my writing <laughs> first host is what our first host is what our last host is and you can kind of write this out too just to make sure you get it um, and what our last host is and what our broadcast address is which is BC a uh, BC is our broadcast address and what our subnet mask is all right so now what we need to do is to get that we need to draw um, we need to draw a binary chart. Let's go ahead and draw that out. 128, just draw a line right there and make your line go all the way down all right there we go so now we have our lines all the way down and so now let's get started all right so now to find out the first host and what these slashes is this slash 30 that actually represent what um, what our subnet mask is and what, which would allow us to have how many addresses we have so a slash 30 is basically above your your um, numbers you can actually uh, let's make your one a little darker 128 all right so basically above here you can actually instantiate your your slashes so let's go up and right here in the fourth octet slash 25 is the first number that starts so let's do slash 25 and slash 26 slash 27 slash 28 slash 29 slash 30 slash 30 slash 31 slash 32 all right so there we go so right now we're working in the slash 30 right here the slash 30 so let's just draw a squiggly line separating basically separate our network portion which is on the left side from our host portion which is on the right side all right so let's go ahead and right now we're working in the fourth octet because the level you go up this first row right here is the first octet and when you go up to 32 and then when you go up to 24 and then 23 and 20 and keep going that way this is the second level is going to be the third octet and then the sec the third level is going to be the second octet, and then first level is going to be first octet. All right, and it goes all the way up to uh, it goes all the way up to like slash one, which is like a lot of addresses. It's almost impossible to calculate. So um, the first thing we do is so let's go ahead and the first host let's let's go ahead and extend our network. So our network is one nine two dot one six eight dot seven dot zero. So let's make this zero 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 zero. zero. Because our network address is dot zero in the fourth our text. That's why we have dot zero. And our first host, your first host is always going to be one one up from whatever this address is. Whatever your network address is, the, the first host is going to be one up from that number. 
So let's go ahead and do 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. zero. And since it's 0, basically, all we have to do is put a, a 1 right here. The stand chain that that 1 is turned on. Let's go ahead and that's dot 1. So our first host is dot 1. First host, dot 1. That's our first host. So basically, our first host is going to be 192.168.7.1. That's it. That's going to be our first host. Now, the last host is kind of tricky because you actually can do, well, I prefer to do the broadcast address before I do my last host. Since we know our broadcast address is going to be all ones, and so the broadcast address is always all ones in the host portion, which is the left, the left side of the squiggly line. So... The broadcast address is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1. Because on, on that side, all the addresses, I mean, well, on, on the on the host portion, which is the left side of the squiggly line, well, the right side, excuse me, the, the right side of the squiggly line, all those numbers are turned on for the broadcast address. On the left side is the network portion, which is on this side. This is the network portion. This is the host portion. So the broadcast address is going to be uh, 2 plus 1 is dot 3. Broadcast is dot 3. That's our broadcast address. And the last host is always one up from whatever the broadcast address is. So the broadcast, the last host is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So the, the last host is going to be dot 2. Because the thirty, the slash thirty address only gives us two, only gives us two host, only give us two usable host, and so we see there. Um, and now a subnet mask, a subnet mask is going to be whatever the slash is. So we have a slash thirty. So our our basically our, our um our our subnet mask is going to be equal to whatever um, the numbers are uh, before the squiggly line. So let's go ahead and add those, those let's add those numbers up real quick. Let's use our calculator. And let's do 128 plus what? 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4. So basically 252. That's our subnet mass. So our subnet mass is going to be dot. 252. So it's, our subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.252. And that's our subnet mask. So, everybody, we just learned how to do binary. Um, we have, we see here the first host is going to be dot one on this, dot one. Our sec, our last host is going to be dot two because we only have two addresses. Our broadcast address is dot three, and our subnet mask is dot fifty two. All right, and I thank everybody for watching today. Um, I will be having more tutorials coming, and don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments if you have any questions. And all right, I'll see you guys later. All right.